Okay, hello. It's another day. I also want you to learn more about environment. Last sevens, welcome on board. I'm going to take you through environment. Environment, before I start by describing what environment is, I want you to turn around and observe 10, 20 things that you can see around you. Beside me, there is I can see some books, there are plants here, there is air here, although it is invisible, there is water here, there are animals closing here. All those things that are surrounding me, surrounding me are what we call environment. So environment simply means environment simply means the surrounding, the surrounding of a living thing. The surrounding, the surrounding of a a living thing, a living thing. Anything that allows a living thing is what we call the environment. Therefore, you can mention thousands of things surrounding a living things. Some of them are living, others are not living. And therefore, I want to start with what we call major components of the environment. Major, major components of the environment, major components of the environment, of the environment. We have five major components because they are the origin of all others and that's why we say we fact them as major. One of them is what we call plants. We have plants. Plants are major components of the environment. They are source of food. Number two, they, we have the animals. The animals. The animals are other components of the environment. These two, the plants and the animals, both of them are living. They have a lifespan. There is a time, they start, there is the beginning of their life and there is the end of their life. They are, they are living, and therefore anything that is living has life, we say it has bio, we call them biotic components, biotic components, meaning living components, biotic. We also have other major like soil, soil that is not living, we have air, and we have water. If I look at these three, they are very important to us, but they are not living. Therefore, we say they are abiotic. They are abiotic, meaning non-living. They are not living. They are abiotic components. And to lay more emphasis, I will start by saying that if you are to look at the art service, if you are to look at the art service, all these components are the major. Anything else does not mean it's not an environment. For example, you are, you are the house, houses, the, 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 the rocks, the, the, it does not mean they are not part of the environment, but they originate from either of these. And that's why we say these are the major components. We also have others. I will not call them minor, but I'm saying other components of the environment. We have light. Light is very important, but we can live for, without light for some time. And that's why we don't have light at night. And sometimes at night, it's only that we improvise light, or artificial light, therefore, so that we can do maybe an activity. We have sound. Sound is another component, but we cannot say it is major, but there are other components of the environment. Therefore, on the earth service, on the earth service, the art service, the art service comprises of rag mass and water. Rag mass and water. The water takes the largest percentage of the earth. This water, the water, the art service, the art service, the dry land is around 29%. This is the art service. This is the rag mass. Rag mass. Another way was to learn about lithosphere. Then we have water taking 71%. Water taking 
percent. Therefore, if I ask you what component take the largest part of the earth service, I am simply testing water. Simply testing water. Then we have the component that takes the largest percentage is air because the whole atmosphere, the surrounding, your surrounding, there is air. If you try to do this, that you feel the wind, a certain wind moving. You are trying to push air with, around your eyes. And therefore, in the atmosphere, which has the, 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 uh, up to what extent the gravitational force is able to, the amount of air that the gravitational force is able to pull to us makes the air. And beside the atmosphere, even in water, there is air. And that's why the fish are able to survive in water. There is air. Therefore, air, number one, the main point I want to say about air, air takes the largest part of the earth's surface. Not the earth's surface, the largest part of the earth, but not the earth's surface. It is the earth's surface you are referring to the floor. That is water. And number two, air is found in all components. We will be discussing now the importance of plants, the importance of animals. Water is necessary for the aquatic animals like fish. It, con it also contains oxygen. Soil is important for plant growth and also some animals that live in the, in the, in the soil. Air is important for breathing and photosynthesis in the plants. Animals are important in decomposition and source of food and manure, the, the, and source of food to other animals and source of manure to other plants. Meanwhile, have a good morning as you go through the notes that I have given on environment, read more, but these are the major components. Other components I have said, I have just mentioned the light, sound, buildings, and ETC. Bye.